another one. Do, 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 do. Another one. Do, 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 do. Another one. Bring pink pants and another pink pants and another one. And then we make a video about pink pants. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't already guessed it, this is a video about pink pants. Yeah, no, if you missed the title, thumbnail, intro of this video. Really? I'm just impressed. Welcome to a video that has so far been very blatantly, obviously, about pink pants. I wonder how many more times I'm gonna have to say pink pants in this video. Bought more pink pants. <laughs> no, it wasn't a very smart decision on my behalf considering I do already have a pretty bomb pink pair of pants. So here are some pretty bomb ways to wear pink pants. Yeah. And diverse ways. So bomb, you could almost check out your blue pair of denims and go full time pink. On Wednesdays we wear pink. Shut up. Hey guys, let's start with the basics. And for those of you crazy folks who like to shake things up, I'll see you through to the end of this video, where things get a little spicy with the styling. You have tea. I mean, I have a tea, you should, no judgment though, have a tea, so wear it. And it would be nice if it were that easy, but this is a styling video, so yes. Adding any form of top would go great with the shade of these pants. And I don't think any color could really look bad with pink, unlike common misconceptions. It just depends on how daring you wanna go. This is literally my favorite tea, so just chuck it in there. When an outfit is simpler, don't forget to add in some accents or jewelry. You can get creative. I added some white sneakers because the colors are all so pale and pretty and I wanted to add to that. And finally, this bag really spiced it up. Simplest way to elevate a look is just to add some interesting textures or patterns, and this bag did that all for me. Bless Izzy Miyake. Also, I couldn't resist the temptation to go further with this look. I mean, it was fine the way it was before, but sometimes you're just feeling like a tea and flare combo is too basic for your oftentimes unstable hyper energy. So I added this vest, and it completely changes the silhouette and the energy of the vibe. If you're bored with your tees, layer it up. Add some personal styled objects, like that weird but gorgeous bag, your favorite hats, and your goofiest jewelry. Literally the same combo. <laughs> but I love how the shape of the pants gives you a completely different feel. This one, I wanted to match more cropped stuff together. A cropped red jacket, a tiny little bag, and with pink pants, you're definitely not restricted by color options. Or from wearing childish pigtails. Opt in your crop tops. Have fun with striped tops or any patterns. With this look, I added in some white socks and leather shoes because I feel like the more laxed I go on the bottom, goofy the top looks, better commit. And I also love this Kijang crop, which definitely gives off a more sportier look. So I enhanced that with my white sneakers. So white only because I don't. Sports, whatever that is. And this cute little accent of a purse. A little bit clashy, which I digged. And the next no-brainer is a button-down. We are tapping all the bases, people. Of course, a button-down will work with your pink pants. Even if it's denim or pink. This makes for a more unexpected combo. And I added a blazer. Added a blazer because I feel like some weird sort of disdain for button-ups. Eh, maybe because I feel like they feel formal. Weirdly, I don't get that vibe with blazers. They're just really tailored fashionable accessories. And the shapes sort of bore me, but this isn't a video on why I dislike button downs because they are great for layering. To so mix together some different colors and prints and see what sort of colorful collage you can kind of put together on your body. Wild. And it doesn't have to fit any rule. If you're feeling super bold, you could do an Emily in Paris. And if you're feeling cool, you can match more of a minimalist look. You know what I love about an oversized knit? Or anything long and baggy for that matter? Well, it works with pink pants, obviously. Hashtag stay relevant. But let's be real. Mainly, you can unbutton your pants in public when you eat too much because your Asian heritage means that you genuinely fear wasting food. I'm not just a chubby bunny, guys. Okay, I am. But this isn't a show of body image and fashion. Well, that is completely relevant. But how cute Snoopy looks sleeping on top of his doghouse where a creepy bird is watching him. Okay, it's actually not about that either. It's about options. The option is oversized sweaters or even cute vintage ones that are cardigans. Almost, but you wear it as a top. I do it all the time and I love it. With this look in particular, I was channeling every vintage account I adore and did some fun basic fashion maths. Black collar, 
black purse. Matching. Needed a belt. Matched it with my shoes. Matching. And it all can make sense sometimes. But other times you just want to wear something completely see-through. And that's okay too. Cute mesh tops. They are an option too. I'm yet to find a bra that I can actually wear nicely under this one. Which is the only one I own. But that's styling failure aside. See-through tops or highly graphic skin-like tops go great with pink pants. And you can really style them multiple ways because they're highly flexible. Wear it alone or layer it. Do, 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 do. This one is for the vintage lovers. I'm with you. I own too many vintage blouses with collars and thrills. Favorite thing to do with them is to add them to any bottoms in my wardrobe. And pink pants are not an exception. You can go colorful, get a lot extra matchy with the green socks. This look is such a party. But so simple because you don't really need to do much more because there's already a lot happening. Oh no, 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 too much. Hello, my fear. You can even dress it up. Add some little heels, a cute purse, big earrings. I think the most important part of this look was to add in pops of colors. I don't know why that much light pink and white makes me so uncomfortable, but it does. So this highly detailed bag matched with the red shoes and yellow earrings really did something to the look. Are we getting to the fun part of the video? I think we are. You vintage lovers probably have a corset. They go with everything, as well as your pink pants. Even those combo you'd think would probably look better with your pale pink pants. You can do it this way too. Bring a little bit of edge to an outfit by mixing up aesthetics. And I added some leather shoes and some socks to match. And then somewhere along the way, the bag came back in and then a vintage hat. And now it's just... Um, a sort of styling video that's kind of losing logic. But if you like something, who cares what Kyoko's closet says, or anyone for that matter, wear it. Fashion is an expression, bro. Why are there rules? That's why I also like this dress on pants look, because you are by definition breaking a rule here. This did become a trend this year, but once upon a time, some person did just wear a dress because it's the easiest thing to chuck on, but then remembered it was cold and added some pants on for the legs. And that was a definition of horrific fashion. But now it's a trend. Brands actually call this high fashion. Despite that, I do think it's a harder one to pull off for sure. And I'm sure there's many opinions on it. Please enlighten me in the comments down below. But I really just played on the colors I wanted to have together. Then this bag just felt like such a great matching opportunity. I was surprised by this one, but it was definitely fun. And hey, ponchos. This is for the super, super vintage lovers because ponchos haven't been cool in a very, very long time. But you can do it. You see, it does match, it does work, and I had it. So just wanted to add it in here. And as you can see, especially smitten by the little bits of pink in the top, matching with the pants and the shoes and the bag, match with the turtleneck. Match, match, match. If you also wanted some matching ideas, I did a video a while ago, two of them, and I like those looks too. But I just didn't want to add it again to any of my returning subscribers. Feel free to check it out in the cards above. I don't know why, but my camera for some reason thinks that's a human being's head over there. So we're just gonna human beings in focus exclusively. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope these looks served your pink pants curiosities. If the voice recording in this video doesn't make any sense, <laughs> please don't hold it to me. Um, I am fucking tired. But I hope all of you guys are well. And I just wanna let you know that there's a red button down there. Subscribe if you feel like it. And I'll see you all next week. Bye.